What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you... <laughs> Shut up. What is going on guys? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the oil on my F30. This process is applicable for the 328i and it's also applicable for the F30 335i. The only difference would be is the amount of oil you have to put. For all of us 328 owners out there, we are going to be putting in our cars at least, five and a half quarts of oil. I'm gonna be putting in BMW original oil um, this whole time. This is gonna be my first time running this oil, so I'll let you guys know like on Instagram and stuff like how my car runs with this versus like what I've used in the past, like Moto and Liquid Molly. But this is gonna be my first time using this. I'm not gonna argue what oil is better than whatnot. I also got this man filter for the oil filter, which we, you guys will also have to be changing. You don't need a crazy amount of tools for this job. The tools you'll need is an oil drain pan, an oil filter remover, a 17 millimeter socket, some oil, obviously, an oil filter, some gloves, and a towel to just, you know, clean the mess that you're gonna make when you drain the oil out. For those of you at home that don't have a lift, Rhino ramps are perfect. You can just drive your car up because that's all you really need to lift up is the front of the car. The rear does not matter at all. But yeah, let's get right into it. I have to remove my hat for this one. So your oil pan drain plug is right here. It's a 17 millimeter. So grab your 17 millimeter socket and your socket wrench and loosen this. Be prepared to make a huge mess. That's why you need your oil pan drain thing thingamajig and then you can just unscrew this and you're gonna make a gigantic mess so be ready for that with the assistance of mike it's gonna start dripping so okay watch the camera <laughs> you can get out of here so you don't get the camera <laughs> and this is why gloves are important ew 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 oh it's hot it's hot as hell move it over you're not centered it comes like this? It comes straight down. Okay, some cars it comes like... You guys know what I'm talking about? The rainbow, you know? No. It's hot! <sighs> why isn't it... Why isn't it coming out? <laughs> Where's the... Oh, I got it. We're good. Ah, oh, it's so hot! So, as you guys can see, it's very clean, very easy, very easy process. No gloves required at all. So, just wait for a little while and let this stuff all drain out, and then you can start uh, loosening the uh, oil filter with the oil filter tool. Basically, what this does is it tightens up the uh, oil filter so you can spin it and unscrew it and then change the filter. To remove your oil filter, just use your oil filter tool. Basically, here is your oil filter. Look at how dirty that is and how gross it is. And that's why you change this as well. Um, there's like a little gasket here on it as well. And there's a gasket around the filter itself. It also comes with your new oil filter. So you have to remove those and put the new ones on there. Make a huge mess. Put it away. And then grab your new man filter. this gasket and this gasket but the ones included with your main filter grab one of these tools to remove the little small tiny little little gasket and this one too it's kind of hard to see but make sure when you put this back it's on there exactly how it was because this could cause a oil leak in your oil filter and that's just something we don't want considering the all chambers it's like right under it once you get the gasket out of the packaging go ahead and put it back exactly how you had it So in order to know that you've put it in the right spot, just make sure it doesn't go up or down or move too much. And that's pretty much it. And just try to remember where the old one was as well. And go ahead and grab your tiny gasket, put it right where it used to be. And you're pretty much done with the oil filter. You can pretty much put this back where it was. For the oil filter, you're pretty much done there. Use your oil filter tool to tighten that back up. Then this washer is also included with the oil filter that you bought. This is for your drain plug. When you get your drain plug out, there's a little washer in between it. Just go ahead and take that washer out and put this new one instead. So go ahead and take your old washer out of your old drain plug, put the new washer in, and that's it for that. Then you grab your 17 millimeter socket, screw this right back into the drain plug. So after you've tightened the oil drain plan plug and you've tightened the filter down, last step is probably the most satisfying, just watching this oil go into this hole. Check that out. And you 
can pretty much do that for all five quarts. So the oil is all filled up now and I'm gonna be showing you guys how to reset the oil service interval. So go ahead and you see this button right here, press it, let it clear all these errors that I got going on. Hold the button, keep holding it until something comes up. Then you'll see this come up on your screen, go to engine oil and just hold the button once you've get, gotten to engine oil. Then it's gonna to ask to reset, hold it again. And now it's resetting, you can let go of the button. Boom. This is pretty much programmed to tell you to change it every 7,000 miles. I normally do mine every 3,000 miles, but um, damn, I need to change my brake fluid. I normally do mine every 3,000 miles, but I stopped driving like a maniac, so now I do mine every 5,000 miles. Once you're done resetting the oil service interval, go ahead and get your car on a level surface. Make sure the car's warmed up, make sure the oil temperatures are at normal running temperatures, and check the oil level in the iDrive Obviously we don't have dipsticks, so we can't really tell it like that, but we're just gonna have to go based off of the computer. So make sure your car's on a level surface, check, make sure you're not overfilled with oil, make sure you're not under. If it is under, just try and drive a couple of miles, see if it's, the more you drive, I guess, the more accurate it gets. But that's really it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Huge shout out to FCP Euro for the oil. Huge shout out to Mike for helping me with this oil change. I hope this was very informative for you guys and it helped you because, you know, sometimes oil changes do run a lot at shops. They charge you like 100, and so, 100 or so dollars. Dealership charges way more than that. So we'll see how this BMW oil holds up. I did use 5W30. I will leave links down below to everything that I used um, in terms of oil, the oil filter, everything will be links down below in the description to FCP Euro. But anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care, peace out.